Hi there, I'm Aoife Saloria, I'm an Applications Engineer with Novacentrix and today we're going to make a capacitive device using inkjet printing. This is the image that I generated on PowerPoint and converted it to a PDF. It has two components, it has the silver touch component and silver contacts and it has a carbon resistor. Using the inkjet printing method, we can print both of these components, one on top of the other, really simply. And the best thing about the inkjet printing method is that if our device doesn't work out, we can easily change the image uh, without having to purchase any other supplies. Uh, this is the inkjet printer we use. It's a very standard desktop piezo printer. We use these two inks. One is a silver ink, JSB25P, that is developed specifically towards this printer. The other is a carbon ink, JRDEV79.79.9, .79 again specifically developed towards this printer. How this works is that we fill up with the ink we want, whether that be silver or carbon. So it's a very simple case of just filling using a pipette this particular cartridge uh, with one of the inks and then placing it in the printer and you're ready to go. We use very specific uh, substrates for inkjet printing. This is a clear PET substrate that's modified with a mesoporous layer on top. That allows for the solvent to be wicked away so once the print exits the printer it is essentially conducting and dry and ready to go. Now we generally with the silver ink, once we've printed it and it's dried, we photonically cure it using the pulse forge, and this ensures a greater level of conductivity. I have modified this sheet of Novell with some cardstock on the back, and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to make two separate prints. One print is going to be in the silver JSB 25P ink, and that's going to be the component and the connector pads. Whatever colour this image is going to be is going to come out of the corresponding cartridge. Therefore, if we design and print in black, whatever is in this cartridge, i.e. the silver ink, is what will be printed. The same goes for this image. This is also in black. Incidentally, the, the ink for this is also going to be black. So when we register these together, first we print the silver, then we print the carbon. And assuming registration is correct... We have overlapping images which will correspond to this one. So that is why I have backed the Novell substrate with the cardstock is so I can be more firm with how it goes into the printer. The other substrate we're going to use is a glossy Epson photo paper. Uh, again, this is very, uh, the, once this is printed, once the inks are printed upon this, they come out dry and already conducting. Um, but again, as before, we're going to print the silver ink, let it dry and photonically cure it to improve the conductivity, and then we're going to print the carbon uh, resistor over it. And once this is complete, we will have a fully capable device that we can attach to an Arduino and use as a capacitive sensor. So once the contacts here are attached to the Arduino and the correct sensing library is input, then we can bring metal close to this and the capacitance will change based on its proximity to another metallic.